Nine year old Tyshawn Lee was lured to his death with the promise of a juice box. Today there is justice for the little boy. His killer is found guilty, now facing life in prison. CBS 2's Adrena Bigas is in the courtroom and uh, she joins us live in the control room. Adrena? Jim, three men were charged when Tyson Lee's murder. Now, nearly four years later, all three men are convicted killers. We, the jury, find the defendant, Corey Morgan, guilty of first degree murder. 31 year old Corey Morgan showed no emotion when his verdict was read today. It took the jury about 10 hours to reach this decision, much more time than it took jurors to bring a guilty verdict yesterday against Morgan's co defendant, Dwight Boone Doty. Prosecutors say Boone Doty pulled the trigger, but Corey Morgan, convicted today, was responsible for plotting Tyshawn's murder. There was just no evidence of a concerted plan, um, any kind of scheme that multiple people were involved in. We hope that these verdicts bring some measure of closure to the family of Tyshawn Lee for his horrible death. Police say Tyshawn's killers played basketball with him to gain his trust, then got him to follow them to an alley in Auburn Gresham by promising him a juice box. Boone Doty faced the most damning evidence. His DNA was found on a basketball just feet from Tyshawn's body and inside an SUV used as the getaway car. A jailhouse informant also recorded Boone Doty bragging about killing Tyshawn. Now, while Boone Doty and Morgan face up to 100 years to life in prison, the third man charged in Tyshawn's murder pled guilty for exchange for a 25 year prison sentence. Live in the control room, Audrina Vegas, CBS 2 News.